Welcome, in this session we will be discussing the CSAT paper 2 for 2016. Now we will be solving this paper in three sections. Uh, most of the questions were based, uh, based on reading comprehension required understanding of the current topics or the recent happenings in uh, current affairs. So, if you are aware of those, you can very well solve these questions. Again, most of the questions related to aptitude and quantitative studies have been extensively covered from the postal course. Now, this passage talks about the role or the accountability of civil servants. So, this passage explains the accountability of civil servants that explaining that the civil servant is not only accountable to the politician but also to the public and there should be reconciliation of internal and external accountabilities that should be done. So, this lines which have been highlighted would help you understand or find the crux of the questions that have been asked through. So, the, this line clearly explains the third or the fourth question which says internal accountability is sought to be achieved by internal performance monitoring, then supervision of bodies like CVC, com uh, controller and auditor general and judicial review of executive uh, decisions. So, these three points would be directly asked in that question. Now, coming on to the first question, you have which of the following adversely is an adverse consequence of the governance. So, first that is the inability of its civil servant to strike a balance between the internal and external accountability is clearly mentioned and also there is lack of constitutional provisions that define the professional civil servants vis-a-vis -vis the political executives. So, both A, uh, 1 and 4 would be the correct options that is C would be the correct answer here. Next question, which of the following assumptions could be made? We can clearly assume from the passage that political executive are an obstacle to the accountability of civil servants to the society because they act as a kind of intermediary body. So, you have one as the correct option. So, A would be the correct answer here. Next question, which of the following is essentially mess essential message implied by the passage? The main message is as we said about the accountability. So, there is a need or a scope for reforms to account to improve the accountability of civil servants is the main message that we can derive from this passage. And finally, you have according to the passage which of the following is not a means of enhancing the internal accountability. We already highlighted the three points. So, you have better job security, supervision and judicial review of executive deci decisions. These three are discussed in the passage. However, point D we are not sure it can be, it cannot be, but this is nowhere discussed in the passage. So, D would be the answer in this case. Now, next two questions are again based on passage. This passage talks about that some people try to derive their rights and duties from their religion and uh, they produce, uh, they kind of from the rights and duties they produce justice and uh, when it is established it becomes a kind of norm and society accepts it. That is what is explained in this passage. Now, with, these, uh, with this concept in mind, you have which of the following assumptions can be made from the given passage. So, from this given passage, we can clearly divine, uh, uh, assume that relationships are derived from the religious traditions. These two cannot be the answer because we are not talking what would happen in the absence of God. So, we, uh, 2 and 3 cannot be the answer. The only correct answer can be 1 in this case. Next. Which of the following is the crux of this passage? Now, when we are talking about crux of this passage, the main idea behind this passage is to balance between the rights and duties at the, uh, to the delivery of justice in the society. So, C would be the correct answer in this case. Now, this question is based on the recent class that we took on sets and Venn diagram. So, what is asked is B and C fell sick together. So, let us say this is the circle of B and this is the circle of C. And what B ate is grapes and oranges and what C ate is oranges, pineapples and apples. So, what is common in between is oranges. So, therefore, we can say what would be the cause of sickness would be orange. Now, this is an indirectly asked question which is a kind of word problem on sets and when. So, when we discuss sets and when we clearly define this. So, you can refer that video again. Now, this question is a kind of... Uh, I do not know whether it is intentional or unintentional, but choice uh, the point 2 and 3 are kind of contradictory what is given here. However, even if it, we are not reading this in absolute terms, we can say D is correct because if 
you have a decline in death rate is faster than the birth rate then it would lead to population growth however based on these points also we can say one would be incorrect because you have rural urban migration which would increase the urban population not the overall growth of population we can say so you would have a as incorrect because this does not explain that there is an increase in the overall population this explains there is increase in the overall population but that can be due to either declining death rate or declining birth rate so the most appropriate answer from these choices could be d here next question now this is a kind of question based on direction problems so you can refer our video back on direction and our postal course material so you have 3 kilometers north then 3 kilometers west and then 4 kilometers south now how much he'll have to go back to reach his destination or uh, the starting point so it would be 3 kilometers towards east and then 1 kilometer towards north so 3 kilometers east and 1 kilometer north would be the correct answer next question to falsify uh, which of the following would falsify this statement so the statement is we shall go either for a picnic or for a trekking now when I need to falsify this statement what I need to do is either should not happen so you have we do not go either for picnic or for tracking would be the correct answer because if I say we go for tracking not for picnic we uh, falsify only half of it and same goes for one B is nowhere related in the passage in the question given so you have D would be the correct answer here next now this question is a bit tricky question you need to read the question very carefully you have a faculty of 50 you have 30 males and 20 females now all the males do not like music so no male fac faculty new music so all 30 I can say you have no music out of these 20 many of these no music but some don't know okay now the question asks I have a draw of which I am choosing 6 people so those 6 can be either all male either all female so all six can be female or there can be a combination of male female in any ratio now for males I am 100% sure that there is no music but for females there can be some which like music or some which know music and some who don't know music so we are not given any adequate data here which could tell us the exact section of population which know music or which we don't know music therefore D would be the correct answer that is nothing can be said about the gender composition of the party next question you have five people sitting on the chair now the best way is to draw uh, to solve any problem related to sitting arrangement is to draw the sitting arrangement itself so you have A you have C sitting next to A a is seated two seats from D so I will leave two seats and I make set here D and B is not seated next to A so B is not here so B would be here since there are only two places left and who is left E so E would be here now based on this I can say D is seated next to B that is correct E is seated next to A that is again correct A and D are separated by two seats apart so that is incorrect because they are adjacent here so 1 and 2 would be the correct answer in this question next question now this question says that what would happen here is gardening group would take place every second day so all the numbers which are divisible by 2 would be the answer for gardening group similarly all the numbers divisible by 3 uh, for electronics 4 for chess 5 for reaching and 6 for photography so what I do is I take the LCM of 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we have a number 60 which is divisible by all these six, uh, all these 5 numbers so 60 on the day 60 and how many times you uh, do all the 5 groups meet on the same day within 180 days so they will meet every 60 days so in a 180 days frame they will meet three times so answer would be 180 divided by 60 that is 3 next question here now you have 
if one bee lands on each flower but one bee will move out so there is one bee extra than the flower so based on this sentence i can draw this equation now if two bees land on each flower so two bees land on each flower one flower would be left out and this would be the second equation now solving these two equation i can get the values for uh, flowers and bee respectively and those would be 3 and 4 so if i solve this f plus 1 is equal to 2f minus 2 so you have 3 is equal to f since f is equal to 3 you have b is equal to 3 plus 1 that is 4 so you have 3 flowers and 4 bees would be the correct answer next question now this is a kind of question based on analytical reasoning we have discussed lots and lots of problems uh, related to analytical reasoning of these kinds so you have the question here it's important to understand first the elements so you have p q r s and t out of these p and s are unmarried and they are students so i know their profession as well as they are married or not t i know is married out of these t is male and q is male q is the brother of p and you have three professions doctor lawyer and artist now it says q is neither doctor nor artist so he is not a doctor not an artist so what is left is lawyer then you have r is not a doctor now you are left with just two professions that is artist and doctor since r is not a doctor r would be artist these two are already students so doctor would be t now the first question is who is doctor so answer would be t next question is who is artist so the answer would be r who is the spouse of r now the only married person here is t that we know p and s are unmarried so who rem uh, who all remains is q and r we are already asked to find about r so r would be a match for t because we know definitely that t is married we are not sure about q and since t is married there should be some couple or some match for t so r would be the match here so the answer here would be t next question who is lawyer so lawyer here as we discovered is q so q would be the lawyer and who is definitely a man we know t and q are definitely male so you have q would be definitely a male so again the answer here would be q next question now in this question you have 19000 quantity that is to be produced and out of every thousand quantity 5% is unfit what does that mean from every thousand that i am producing you have 5% damage rate or unfit pieces that is 50 so the correct pieces from every thousand would be 1000 minus 50 that would be 950 since 950 are the number of correct pieces and you have total quantity of 19000 in how many days you would fulfill this order that would be 20 so 19000 divided by 950 and that would lead you to 20 so 20 would be the correct answer in this case now next few questions are based on passage again now this passage is really tricky and most of the students were unable to comprehend it correctly now to understand this passage first of all there are few things we need to understand this passage is focusing on biomass biomass is a source of renewable energy biomass can come from three things that is first agriculture and for uh, agriculture residues forest residues and energy crops so you have first agricultural residues forest residues and energy crops now when you are using it as residue the biggest challenge is how you will meet the supply at a reasonable cost because there would be a limit to the supply of the residual or the waste however when you are talking about energy crops you have a main issue that these energy crops compete with the food production because if you are growing energy crops then you are not growing the other food crops as a result the cost the price for the other food crops would bump up and therefore biomass uh, and also that biomass production is sensitive to physical impacts of climate change so this is something that we understand from the first passage now from the second section 
you have it talks about the various climate uh, climate energy models and it says that uh, the it projects that biomass could increase nearly fourfold and that would be sufficient for a quarter of the world however it also explains that this is without the disruption of food and forest resources and again it explains that there are some unproven te technologies related to carbon capture and storage which achieve negative emissions or low emissions then it talks about liquid biofuels that increase the carbon em emissions and finally you have biofuels which are based on uh, the feed stocks such as the straw bio uh, the bagas grass and wood which are uh, in the field of sustainable production but they are still in research and development and they can emit even lower greenhouse gases now based on this you have the first question which of the following is the present constraint in using biomass as a fuel for power generation so when we say which of the following is a constraint for using fuel in biomass uh, sorry in biomass production we can say you have lack of sustainable supply of biomass that is definitely given in the passage then again it explains that biomass production competes with the food production so first is correct second is correct and the third is explained towards the last uh, section of the passage that explains that bioenergy may not always be low carbon on life cycle basis so all of these three would be the correct answer so d would be the correct answer here next question which of the following can lead to food security problem so when we are talking about energy crops we talked about food security so promoting the cultivation of energy crops would lead to food security because since you are growing energy crops you are not growing another crops and therefore the price uh, price for the other food crops would rise so three only would be the correct answer in this case next question you have in the context of using bio biomass which of the following are characteristics of sustainable production of biofuel so we have that first is incorrect because it would not meet all the primary requirement it would meet only one fourth of the primary requirement so you have uh, one that is incorrect then bio uh, this biomass as a fuel for power generation does not disrupt food resources that is one of the characteristics that we have already seen and finally it is again a fuel for power generation that could help in achieving negative emissions given certain nascent technologies so both of these would be the correct answer next with reference to the passage which of the following is correct so with reference to the passage we can say some climate models suggest that use of biomass as a fuel for power generation helps in mitigating the greenhouse gas effect is correct so one only would be the correct answer here and finally you have another passage that talks about green revolution as a mixed blessing so what happened is there was monocropping monocropping is cropping of the uniform crop and then there was high yielding varieties however these used expensive fertilizers and toxic pesticides which created risk and that risk was of uh, food shortage therefore based on the passage we can infer that green revolution can possess a threat to biodiversity in food supply and food security in long run so d would be the correct answer in this case with this we cover the set of first 25 questions we'll be covering the remaining questions in the next two classes you can subscribe to our channel for further updates have a good day ahead